Hi, one of the reasons that we use our basalt rock dust is because it contains a, a vital ingredient to the health of plants and also soil health, and that's sulphur, and that's what we'll be looking at this time. The first thing we'll talk about is the way that sulphur benefits plant health. What you may not know is that when plants take up sulphur, they particularly like the sulphide form, the non oxidized form, and they really benefit most from that. And that's incorporated into plant tissues to make things called lipids, which are the waxes and oils you see on the leaves. The waxiness denotes a healthy plant. And for plants to become resistant to pests and diseases, it needs a good supply of that reduced sulphur, that sulphide form. And that becomes integral to the growth of the plant. If it's not present, what tends to happen is the plant becomes attacked by bugs such as aphids, and root pests and coddling moth in the fruit, and obviously weevils. But the minute that the sulphur levels go up, they start to generate a lot more lipid, and you see that as the wax on the fruit and on the leaves, and a general healthiness. And then what happens is a lot of that lipid is then emitted by the roots and transferred back to the soil. Once the lipids are emitted by the roots into the soil, they're not broken down particularly well by bacteria, but they are worked out on by uh, fungi. And fungi are particularly good at breaking down the lipid into dark material called humus. So if you want to store carbon in the soil long term, one of the vital components, which is often missing from modern agricultural soil, is sulphur. If there's enough sulphur there, you can build up lots and lots of microbes, which eventually break down into this humus and give the soil its carbon content. So carbon storage and sulphur content are very much linked within the soil and that's not something that most people are aware of.